Hi everyone, Mark again. It's been a few weeks now since we were last up to the polytunnel, so today sun's shining, so I thought I'd give you another quick tour around the polytunnel so we can all see how things are getting on. There's the uh, rhubarb there, Sharon Groove from Seed. A few herbs there, not doing very well really, but uh, what else have we got out here? Oh, these are some Arum lilies. We had some grown over there by the pond and uh, Sharon collected the seed and has sown them and they're, they're doing really well. We've got some leek plants there, they're not far off ready uh, to go in the ground. There's a few more there. There's some uh, coriander there that's gone to seed. But, uh, let's have a look inside. There's the cabbage I think I showed you a couple of videos ago, still going strong. It's my grapevine some cosmos flowers in the corner what else have we got here uh, these are some some more sun gold tomatoes that i've planted they've been doing quite well i've got these ring culture pots here they're biodegradable and the idea is that you feed the tomato through the top here around the top of the where all the feeder roots are and then they get all the goodness and then around the base around the outside um, you just put ordinary you know water around there so uh, it's the first time i've used them so you know we'll see how they get on what else we got down here oh that's sharon's cucumber that's starting to take off now there's the uh sweet corn let's go around and have a look as you can see there's loads of sweet corns coming on and they're starting to swell up really well now. Plants are doing quite well. There's some beetroot down here and let's just get in amongst the undergrowth here. I don't know if you can see it properly, but there's some runner beans here and it's sort of our little experiment with companion planting. And the run, the idea is the runner beans, well, as you can see, look, they grow up the, uh, they grow up the sweet corn and it saves having to put sticks and stuff. In fact, look, we've already got quite a few beans coming here. Oh, I didn't notice them this morning. Yeah, and there's some more little ones coming there. Plenty of flowers. Uh, there's a pot of lettuce there. It's the sort of pick and come again type. Uh, a few pots of basil. Strawberries are all done now. We've eaten them all. We're starting to plant up some of the runners. Just at the front edge of that bed there. We've got some dwarf French beans. We've been eating those almost every day. They're, they're just so prolific. There's a hanging basket I've done there. We've kept it in the polytunnel because we get so much wind outside. It's, it's not even worth hanging them up. And there's my great big old boy there. This is my sun gold that I've done with the string method instead of using the cane. And if you can see it there, there's a bit of string I've tied in. All you do is just wind the plant round the string as it's growing. And it seems to be doing very well. Another couple of sun golds there. There's some more sun golds here. You might be thinking, blimey, why do they plant so many sun golds? Well, from years of trial and error, the sun golds, in our opinion, are by far the tastiest tomato. They're so sweet and oh, they're absolutely beautiful. We do grow some other outdoor varieties. They're called fur lines, and we've got some money makers, which, you know, are a salad tomato, but they're not really a patch taste-wise on the sun golds. There's a few lettuce there. These are some Italian plum tomatoes. You don't pinch out the side shoots or anything on these ones. You just leave them to grow. There's a few carrots there. What else we got? This is the... Uh, courgette this is the round variety as you can see it's some nice little ones there i've i've had literally well i've probably had about 20 or so off there all already just over there we've got some more runner beans that we've grown in a pot as you can see quite a few runner beans come in actually we had some runner beans last night they were blooming delicious sharon's carrots let's just see i think there's one ready there look Oh, look at that beauty there. Straight as a die. Absolutely lovely. Probably have that with our roast dinner tomorrow. 
pick a few more in a minute. There's some other carrots, they're a different variety. We tend to pick them quite young, these ones, uh, you know, and use them as baby carrots. The potatoes, we've probably eaten about half of them. As you can see, all the foliage is starting to die down now. We really need to get on and pick them. Some more tomatoes here, uh, sun golds again, and there's some more dwarf French beans there. Some carrots running around the edge. So, as you can see, oh, there's another hanging basket up there. Everything's coming on, leaps and bounds. This is the season of plenty, as they say. You know, we can come up here and there's almost something of some description ready almost every day now. And I love coming up here eating these little tomatoes. In fact, there's one that's just about ready there. Let's have a go on this one. Oh, if only you could put taste into a video. I tell you what, you'd be in for a treat. But as you can't, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And these are absolutely beautiful. Right, just before I sign off, we've got a compost heap. Well, we've got quite a few actually, but this one particular compost heap, it's where all the um, chicken manure and the straw from the chickens when Sharon cleans them out goes. And as a bit of an experiment, I've put some uh, courgettes. Can you see those on the top there? All I did was scoop out a big hole. I put a lot of uh, compost in. In fact, this is the compost. This is some old. That's what was left from last year's um, compost heap. That's rotted down really well. And then I put these uh, courgette plants in. These are just the ordinary type of courgette. And as you can see there, look, there's already some coming. And they seem to have done really, really well in this uh, compost heap. So that might be something we'll have another go at next year. Anyway, I've gone on a bit longer than I uh, thought I would. Well, I'm still tasting that sun gold tomato actually. But anyway, it's Mark signing off and I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.